Hold my political panel back with me now, Sabrina Schaefer, Sarah Isger Flores, Harlan Hill. Thank you all for staying with me, especially on such a tough topic. What is the role, because it's Facebook this time, I'm going to come to you first on this, Harlan, of Facebook in this case? Does the tech company need to be alert and streaming out these kinds of horrific sites? So I actually have a background in tech. I've run different tech startups, and I know just how hard this is. Uh, to algorithmically determine uh, what's offensive content and not. Um, so it, it's going to be... Harlan, I want to stop you with all due respect oh, sure. because in many respects, Facebook has cracked the code, if you like, yes. and done made a lot of progress in stopping child porn. So there's a lot of people saying, listen, if they can figure it out... Right. For one particular problem, why can't they figure it out for other problems? And, and I think that it will come, but video streaming, live streaming video is a totally different animal technologically okay. than uh, than images and pre-recorded video. So I think that's where the distinction is. Uh, okay, which clear. is a fair distinction. Uh, Sabrina, right. what are your thoughts? You know, I think that this is sort of gaining some attention because we've also been talking about social media and the role of, you know, stopping terrorist attacks. Um, I am wary of trying to take down content. I think it's important that we keep things. I think that this is just one of those really horrifying um, experiences. But, but in the context of terrorism, I think it's very important that we keep these terrorists above ground. So, Sarah, as a legal expert, I know you're a lawyer. What do you, I mean, where do we draw the lines? Well, it's tough, and I think what has made this tougher is a culture that uh, glorifies reality TV mm -hmm. and that now these live streaming apps, while providing enormous amount of content that's entertaining and puppies and kittens, um, also allows criminals to use that same content for their reality television show, which is horrifying. And so I think this goes to a cultural issue, and I think it's something that's going to take a lot bigger conversation to address. Okay, but for the moment, it sounds like you don't think Facebook's going to be sued over this. No, I, I don't think that they have liability here. I think that if uh, this were to continue for a long time, they might have liability the next time, the time after that. Okay. Um, but I think this is, at this point at least, an isolated incident. All right. Well, speaking of time and then a repetition or a kind of pattern, days after a two-year-old boy was killed by an alligator at Disney World, which is just heartbreaking. I'm a parent. You're on vacation. There's no signage. There's no fence. Apparently, children were playing in this lagoon hours peacefully before this particular event happened. But this disturbing video that we're showing our viewers now was apparently shot in 2009. So our viewers can see, but I'll describe it for you. It shows essentially a Disney employee fending off an alligator at Splash Mountain. So, Sarah, I'm coming back to you as our legal expert. If Disney knew this was a pattern and a potential area of problem, and Disney is a huge multi-billion dollar corporation, why weren't they addressing it differently? Well, I'll be stunned if this ever goes to trial. I think that this will be a quick and large out-of-court settlement from Disney to the family involved. Right. There's no question that they knew about it in advance, and there's no question that they did not have adequate signage around this uh, lagoon area. No signage, no fence, nothing. That's right. And they're now taking efforts to do all of those things, which is not able to be used in a court of law as proof of guilt. But I do think that it shows that Disney understands they screwed up. And I think that rather than let this go to trial, they will take care of uh, yeah, this Yeah, I'm out sure, because it is absolutely heartbreaking. And that family's life is changed forever. Mm -hmm. Sarah Isger Flores, Harlan Hill, Sabrina Schaefer, thank you so much for your time.